We're going to play a few little chip and runs just to the 50. But we're not going to move the club like this to do it. Right. We're going to move it with this end first. I've got you. So just letting that move away first. And I want you to hit fire it in nice and low to that 50. So this is an effortless action, look. Bang. And you're getting all that for free. You're controlling the reaction of this with your awareness here. And it's a freer action than, look at that, I have to put the effort in. So the method of control is also the method here, the application of the force. For, and I'm, I'm actually adding loft as I'm creating the speed. Here, I'm creating the speed and I'm de-lofting it. So it's a totally different potential I've got. Yes, I could let this go earlier, of course, and hit it higher. Or I can go lower. But you're not compromising your strike. In fact, it improves the lower you go. So it's getting like 90 yards, nearly 100 yards, and it's a, it's a flick because you're compressing. So it's feeling this. Now, I don't want you to go that far. Just to get that distance, you'll probably start kicking in with your mm. old action because that's what the body recognises its pre-existing kind of kinetic chain for that amount of force. First, can you hit just like that? And it's, we don't want the ball flying higher than that 50 yard sign. I mean, that never got above the numbers, really. So okay. it's like along the floor. I'd practice it first without a ball. Yep. Because as soon as you put the ball there, it triggers your old pre-existing cues movement so that's that's all club head but using mm -hmm. so we're gonna go handle so hold the club in the air for me because it's such a different feeling this it's weird start there for me mm -hmm. right back first go and drag it that's it then it'll go then the hands go first this way keep your grip it's gonna be like a snake like action like a fish tail like this all right it's a flail we flail it and the club trails and we do it both ways so you're striking it that way. Okay. Just try that in the air. Handle goes back, handle goes through. So quicker, quicker with the handle that way. So quicker away, quicker that way. That was better, and again. So it's all too rigid, okay? So take your left hand away, just oh, your yeah. right. Hand, that's it, now, hand, right hand back and then through. No, the handle's got to go way longer than that. No, the club head can't leave this until the handle's got a long way. Oh, right. So it's got to be, Keep going, 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 then it'll go. Then it'll leave. Then you can change direction. Not bad. I want you to get a whip. So you're still using everything together. We've got to break this chain at the wrist. So there, put your thumb on top, just make it easier. So whoosh, that way you're going to be striking it. Hold it there. That's how you're going to be striking it. Okay, handle first. Off you go that way and then this way. Better. Hi, guys. Due to the high demand on the golf trips, we've got another trip planned for Gloria in Turkey in April. It's from the 21st to the 25th, and we've sold four places already. So these trips are exclusively for a small group of six people, so there's only two places left. If you'd like more details, please contact Fars at grf at golftravelhub.com, and he'll be able to give you all the information you need, and hopefully we we'll see you there. Good, now, a bit lower, it's easier with your wrists like that. And then whip it back with your hand. No, no, that was the club head. Yeah, yeah. Handle, yes. Best one yet. Good, let the elbow go, let everything flail. Yes. That is fantastic. Different right. feeling. Yeah. Both hands, same thing. Mm. Handle first, flail it. Beautiful. Lovely. And they use your flail in the downswing, really flail it. Yeah, you can use your elbows and your wrists and your shoulders. Good, so it's so late with that. Good, and again, hold it, hold it next time. Hold it into impact, ready? So flail it back, flail it through, hold it. Yeah, so your hands, look, they're there. When, right. when you're striking, you're so far in front, but you're actually still letting the club go. Right. You're not stopping. It's not like an impact bag. This I'm just, I'm just letting you use the flail and just be aware of where you are. But it's 
it's during the release. It's in the motion. Try it with the ball now. A few little chip and runs really low, but using that handle, the handle drag and flail. Not a bad effort. That was adding loft though. We can get that club face so de-lofted by letting your handle flail. So yeah. that's, the, that's adding loft. It's the down swing, the bit's getting me at the moment. Yeah, it will do, because that's your... See, you're used to ha hold it there, don't move. Stay where you are, stay exactly where you are. You're so used to being behind the club head, look at that. Mm. Instead of being yeah. in front, that's where we want to be. We've got to be so comfortable. And when you're like that, do that again for me. Use your normal setup position. Right. Don't move. Let go. Go and have a look where that's pointing. Stand behind me. Over them trees. Now watch what happens when I move the hands forward. Yeah. And if I move them further forward. Okay. But come and have a look at this club face here. Don't look like it's pointing. No. Look square. Yeah. But that's just because of where this is. Now, if we want to draw the ball, where's the ball got to start? If we want it to draw, it's got to start right. So we've got to have a, this forward to have a club face that's going to start the ball right and then draw it back. So now take your grip there for me. Bring your feet back where they were. That, this, is, this is where you're going to be when you're potentially striking it with your hands. Way forward, OK? <laughs> yeah. Way forward, yeah. You can even start in that place. Start forward, there you go. Then flail it back and through. Just a little swing, flail it, yeah. Okay. Well, that kept high, that was a good strike. Yeah. You wait till we get this even lower. You're only 30, 40% the way there with this. You can, you can start to use your wrists and really get some active activity with the wrist, flailing it. Because you're, you're so used to adding loft and then that adding loft points the, pe points the face left even more. This is the paradox you're in, is that the more you release it, the more the face points left. But you're trying to draw it and start it right. But the more you release it and go for it, the more it's pointing the face left. Yeah. So you can't possibly release the club or you just get, you just get loads of pull draws, pull hooks. Mm. If you do let it go, we've got to go to the other side. Yeah, you can live life there. But I want you to get the feel now of just, we're gonna have to go even softer. No distance, just. Right. Hold your finish like that and see how much you can get that pointing down at the end. Just hold your finish and see how much you can point that down. So we can sense. That was better, but it's adding loft again. This is the challenge, it's tough, this bit. Yeah, so it's not a case of just going there and holding it, because <coughs> that's, that's how you'd have probably chip and run. In the past, we're going we're gonna to get this thing flowing. So, you're right-handed, yep. just with your right hand, drag it and let the handle go forward. Just with your right, nice and soft. So drag it back like that? Yeah, I'd start forward though first, yeah. So that's all a block again. That's coming from, that's like, everything's moving together. So we want, see the butt end? So hold the club in the air. Mm -hmm. That's it. And just let this travel underneath your forearm. Back and through, so let it travel. Hold it lower down for me down here first. Let's do this. So this is gonna travel under your arm. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, let that let that go from side to side. So thinking of this end, I want you to be I want you to have your mind on that end. Drag it back, watch this, it drags it back, and then when the club follows it, you change direction. Yes. Now see how much you can keep it behind on the way through. In, in fact, on the way through, you should even you should be able to increase the lag. You should be able to get this even further behind as you're going that way. You should be able to increase watch this. See that? It, watch, watch the relationship here. I'm going that way and I've created more lag, but I'm going that way to the target. That deal offs the club. So you can create more on the way through. Yes. Yes, Frank. This is you attuning yourself to the loft of the club. Now, really slow this time. Imagine you're playing it under there. Oh. That, there's your loft. Right. Flail it though. Yes. Back and forth. Hold it there. Don't move. Put your left hand on now as well. Keep that place. Take your grip. Now, from there, 
flail it back and through to the same place. Off you go. Not quite the same place. Hold it. Look at that. It's mm. too high. Change it here. Change it. What would you need to do? Good. Okay. Now flail it again from there, back and through. De loft. Still too high. De loft it. Now flail it again, back and through, and de loft it in the flail. Better. Mm. Just with your right hand now. Yeah. Under there. Just what? a little chip shot. Flail it back, and just a little chip, tiny chip under there. No, 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 no. Right. Handle first back. That's it. Yes. Really good. We'll have a little forward press, which starts everything off. That's it, and then flail it, and off you go. Lovely. I felt, I felt easier doing the forward press first. Perfect. It gives you a sense of where you're going. Yeah. And then you can go even more frank through that place. Yeah. Even more exaggerated on the way through. That just, the forward press gives you a sense for it, and then you can really use it. But that is fantastic. See, Danny sees it straight away. Yeah, Brilliant. Phil, Phil, but just doing that is more mechanical, whereas that... Yeah, gets the flow. Yeah. Let's have another go with this, with both hands. Because now both hands are involved, and it's, it's the same thing. Exactly the same. So that, it just popped up a bit with your left because your left's not sure what to do at the minute. And this is actually easier to do with the left than it is the right because your left has got a lot more space to use. So you can really let your hands flail. That's better, but it's, hold it there. Look where the club's pointing. Stay in your finish, stay oh, yeah, in your finish. Yeah. Now point it down under here, point it down. How do you point it down? Right out. No, that's oh. left. How do you point it down? Keep your grip. Oh. What I want you to do is, Play a left-handed shot. Great effort, great effort. Let me show you. See how the hand keeps going up? Yeah. Just to let you follow through, but look, the cloth stays down. We're not doing that. And then suddenly club face points over there. Nice. Yeah. Oh, lovely, look at that finish. Difficult. It is. It's new. That's it. That's the conditions for compression. This unlocks your body movement as well later. All this lets you use your body. Basically, you've been playing like with a brace on your arm. So how does my body move then? With a brace. I need all this to be able to switch on the feet and the, the, the body. So now I can use the levers. Both hands now, because both hands have got the feel for it. Sevi right hand, Jose Elazabal left. <laughs> But you've got a forward press, remember the forward press? Oh, yeah. Push the hands forward, flail it, and then flail it even more on the way through. That is very good. Hold it there. That is the kind of finish for that, for that shot that mm -hmm. you want to be recognising. Look at that. Lovely. That is lovely, that. Thanks, mate. Get it. Yeah, it's lovely, Frank. This is why you need to hit a lot of balls in, mm. this, in this instance. Sometimes not, sometimes yes. This is a time when you want it a lot of balls. Mm. Doing what you were doing before, warming up, hitting loads of balls with your previous swing was just grooving those old patterns, <laughs> not really developing any feel. That's lovely. Look at that. Yeah. Underneath. Underneath. <laughs> <laughs> now you see how you can design your practice so it's so rewarding, sense of achievement, hitting it 50 yards. Because mm. that means so much more. Mm. Hitting that 50 yards is so challenging because what you've really recognised is how artistic you have to be with this club to do that. That requires a level of expertise. Mm. So hitting it 150 yards and hitting 10 shots out of, out of 10, close to the flag, might be okay for, that, for those 10 shots. But what are you going to do when it, when it starts to go off a little bit? And what are you going to do when you don't have 150 yards and what are you going to do when you want to change the flight what are you going to do when you need to control things so what you're developing here is the underpinning feel to develop the game around so at the range you can have some real fun hitting 40 50 balls doing this and getting good